Hey guys. Hi guys, my name is Nisha and this is my channel where I post all plant related content. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. I love you and I appreciate your support. Um, so today, I, I just got out of work, so I'm kind of like all over the place. But I ended up receiving plant mail. And I took the little receipt out. I'm a little disappointed because off the bat, I know I'm missing a plant. And I will have to call them tomorrow. I'm pretty sure they're closed today. Um, but nevertheless, I am excited. This is the first time in a very long time that I am unboxing something outside of Hoyas. <laughs> um, if you have been, you know, following me for a while, then you know that I am a Hoya head, and those are that's my favorite species. Um, but today the unboxing is going to be a philodendron and a li lipstick plant. So I just wanted to take you on my journey so that you see what I ended up ordering. There is, I do have other species in my home. I do have a large collection, semi-large, depending who you ask. I have about 300 plants in my home. I had more. Um, I have, I had over past the 400, um, number, but I ended up gifting many of them because it was getting overwhelming and I also wanted to just kind of focus on the ones that really bring me joy. So without further ado, I'm going to lower the camera and show you guys what I ended up getting. So give me a sec. Most horrible angle ever, but... And I know the lighting is not the best, but I didn't feel like getting my lamp and all that stuff. So I'll show you guys what I got. I do love um, lipstick plants and I wanted a couple of them. And there was an issue with my order and we've been going back and forth on it. I've been waiting for these plants for... I think a little bit over a month because they were waiting for weather to get better but anyhow let's just kind of get into it and let me cut away for me because the last thing I need is to cut myself mistaken the receipt okay so one two and three and it's just very very little soil spillage which is to be expected so I know the smaller ones are the lipstick plants the name before I even you know what I'm just gonna like write it down if I say it wrong but I ended up getting two of the lipstick plants to get a fuller planter because they're um they're two inches Ooh. so they look a little rough but it's a micranthus lipstick plant and it's pretty moist pretty much what I'm gonna do with this ones I regret using a planter that I I was saving for them but this is a good a good size for a two inch and there's the name right there. It's um, 
It's pretty wet. I love that the stems are hardy. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to repot it and, and put it in my terrarium to give it a better chance and let me get the second one. But so far, this is how this one looks. So let me get the second one. I think lips, lipstick plants are just, you know, beautiful. I do own um, a couple different species and I just want to get my um, collection to grow because I do feel like they make beautiful hanging baskets. Okay, so this one's slightly smaller. Oh my gosh. Because it's paper. They're taped. I don't even know if I showed you how they look in the box. I'm so out of it because I got out of work and I am so tired. I just wanted to sleep. Phil asked me to go out for a walk and I'm like, no. I want to take a nap. So he's giving me a little bit of break to recoup and then I'll be going on a walk even though I don't want to. So this is how the second one looks and it has a lot of growth points which I can definitely appreciate. It has a spider web but it's not... Okay, so it has some spider webs, and just in case, I'm going to be spraying with pesticide because they're questionable spiders, and I don't need any pest in my home. Oh, I've made a mess. Um, when it comes to this philodendron, I have purchased this philodendron last year. And I went on a vacation with Phil and my daughter, and I let my son be in charge of my plants, and it died under his care, and it was um, a small, pricey cutting, and it's a philodendron, philodendron brandy. Oh my gosh. Okay, so... This looks really sad. It's, the soil is soaked. I don't understand why they water the plants prior to mailing them. Like this is soaked. I'm surprised there, that it's not dripping. So this is gonna be repotted too. And the leaves are pretty damaged from travel. They all have damage. There's um, questionable markings here. So I will be transferring this plant and checking for root rot. And also I'll be spraying it with um, a fungicide because the leaves do look questionable. Um, so I'm a little disappointed, um, to be honest, but at the same time, it was a really good deal. And if it has good roots, I will, it will be okay. So I will go ahead and repot them and then show you guys um, close-ups when everything's done and I'll show you so I ended up bringing different planters I made a mix that I love which is gonna be quite chunky um, because I want the plants to be able to breathe and be happy so, let's see what we have working with. Let's start with the big one. Oh, this is soaked. Wow. 
Wow. This is soaked. I don't know if you guys saw that, but it's pretty, pretty darn soaked. Wow. It has good roots, thankfully. And I'm glad it didn't stay in the mail like this for long. Um, if they were to do something like this during the summer, then I can completely understand. But during the winter months, it shouldn't be this wet. Um, so I was thinking about going with a bigger planter that I normally would. Um, because this is where it came. And I, I have this one, which is about two inches bigger, um, maybe one, and that's what I'm going to use. Um, wow. Okay, so I'm going to keep working on removing all this... Um, soil and I'll be back. Last time I checked philodendrons were aeroids so I don't know why they have this muddy dirt. Um, I almost want to go and wash off the roots but at the same time I want to disturb it the least amount possible so I think I'm going to leave it just like that, which is still a big chunk, but oh, I'm a little disappointed on the health of this plant. I waited a long time for them. And I don't mind waiting during the winter because I know that it's for the benefit of the plants, but this is... This is a little crazy. And in terracotta, at least, they'll be able to um, dry up. So I think I'm going to leave it like that for now. Because I can't... Oh, okay. My hands are soaked. This is um, good to learn and understand so that when I start... Uh, mailing plants. I don't do something like this um, to people. Um, okay, so poor plant. Okay, I need to move things around. This is so flipping messy. I'm not too crazy about this, but what can you do? I love the fact that it's going to go into a chunkier mix that it's going to be able to breathe because it's in a horrible, horrible, horrible mix. This is so sad. I've been wanting this plant for a very long time. And I've been eyeballing them in their website because they're the most affordable. I think I paid $25 for a four inch um, brandy. And you know, we all know that these are quite overpriced. I paid $25 for a two inch or something smaller, or was it $50? No, it was close to $50. And my son killed it and he felt really bad. And he said, Mom, I'll pay for it. And I was like, No, it's okay. I'll just wait until, you know, it's um, better priced. Because at the end of the day, you know, he didn't mean to kill it. He just has no, he had no business taking care of them. But. I had no choice at the time. I think this time I legit am going to need a plant nanny if there's such thing. <laughs> if 
because I don't want to lose any more plants. And then let me top dress it. Oh my gosh. The soil I just put in got soaked. That's how wet the other soil is. Let me get top dressing for it. I made a video earlier and I honestly was not in the mood to film anything and then I ended up filming two videos today, isn't that something? Just made a mess. I think it looks super cute. <sighs> okay. So this is how it looks. It's kind of wonky. <laughs> it's going to go to a terrarium because it just needs to, um, it definitely needs some TLC. I'm not sure. I don't think I'm going to even water the plant today. I'm just gonna wait until tomorrow and then you know water it and clean it because this is I think too much it's been soaking in that um, in that box for two days and now let's do the little ones and the little ones I wasn't sure how to go about it I might I might do it here Because I, I kind of trust terracotta more than anything. Um, is everything okay? Oh. My daughter. She is going to be a crazy cat lady when she gets older. Um... So this one, I'm honestly going to leave it alone. I'm not going to take too much soil out of it because it's going to be in terracotta and the roots are very, very, very fine. So I don't want to mess with that much. And I, I'm not quite sure. Uh, This is so, this is soaked. I could squeeze this one too and a lot of it will come out. A lot of water. So let me know in the comments below, what do you think about mailing plants this wet? Cause I'm not sure if you can see how wet this is um this actually is but this is a little bit outrageous in my opinion um but yeah this one's gonna have to go in the terracotta because i don't want the plant to get root rot because this might be even too big for let me get a different planter. I need to make sure that I'm doing the right thing for the plant. Well, I definitely not prepared for this today. So let's see. So I have a smaller one. This may work. Because of the root, the roots that it has instead of this. I'm not going to push it and I'm going to leave them here in the smaller planter because of the size they are and I want to make sure that I don't create root rot for them. Okay, so 
Let's do this. And after this, I have to rinse everything. This is disgusting. Okay, so... They're going to be so flipping cute, though, when they grow. This is going to be super cute. My other um, lipstick plants are doing tremendously. Um, one of them does need to be repotted. Um, but I might do that today. I'm dirty. I might as well. Um, okay. Oh, this is so cute. I'm so glad I got this. I need some more soil on this side. Oh, I I kind of decided to start when possible purchasing multiple plants at a time so that I can make fuller plants instead of getting little cuttings. Um because I feel like my house is just completely full of cuttings and I'm kind of sick and tired of it to be honest and I just want to I just want to see more you know um because in the beginning I was just happy thinking oh I want to see it grow blah 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 and now I'm a different plant parent that I believe me I can see it grow when it's big too it'll <laughs> grow for me let's see let's top dress it Oh my gosh, this is going to be so cute. Oh, I love it. Oh, making a mess. Oh, which is fine. This is going to be so cute. Are you guys a fan of um, lipstick plants? I know I am. I definitely am. Let's see. I don't even know if this is part of it. I think it is. The only thing with um, smaller pots is that it's a little harder to work with on situations like this, but it's okay. Oh my gosh, it looks so cute already and it's not even finished because I had to like wash it and like water it. I'll probably water both. It's terracotta. They'll be fine, I think, and I hope because <laughs> I don't want to waste money, you know. Um, I don't have a money tree in my backyard, so I have to like... Make sure my plans last. And also as a plant parent, even when it's not your fault, you know, I've received plants that were obviously overwatered. Um, so even if it's not my fault, I will feel bad. But look how cute. This is going to be so flipping adorable. Okay, so that's going to be it for now. I'm going to go ahead and wash this up. And um, show you guys clips of it when they're in their rightful place. Thank you so much for watching, by the way. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And my apologies that I'm not at my best today. I'm just exhausted and I worked a very, very full day. And, you know, but I was excited to end the day like this and with you guys. So... Bye. Last but not least, I'm going to combine this propagation with this strand. That's where it came from.
at first I was gonna let it go and just kind of finish the video, but I am not because I it's already messy. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this because I'm gonna try to just grab this section and this is probably not a good idea. Mm. Let's see. Because this doesn't have a drainage hole, but I do love the planter. And I thought that it would look good like hanging down and it did for the longest time. It did look really cute, but now I feel like it needs to be elsewhere and maybe I'll just keep this one there. So please don't come for me. I know that this is not ideal, but I want to try to take out just the lipstick plan. Let's see. It's not going to be easy. I'm going to have to take both out. And then just replant the golden pothos alone. Okay. It is what it is. Oh. Whoa. That's some good roots. But I think that's... um. That's the golden potos um, root. Do you see it right there? I think. Let's see. If I can separate these two without causing so much trauma. Wow. I'm trying to be as gentle as possible. Ugh. I felt some roots break. These two have been BFFs. Okay, okay. Okay. So that's that's some healthy roots, even though it didn't have a drainage hole. I just I'm so careful with um how much water I put in there. Um and I don't overwater at all. Okay. I feel like I'm all over the place today. My apologies. I'm just like, you can tell when I'm off. <laughs> you know, you can definitely tell. And I actually think, let's see, because this one's the roots are amazing. They're her babies. I think they're all gonna go in one direction. Let's see. Hmm. I thought it was gonna look prettier. And I think I'm gonna use some of the previous soil that he was happy in. Just so that it, it is in something familiar. The fudge are you? And I'll finish with the other one. Belle, what's going on? Can you guys hear Belle? Belle, I know you want attention, Mommy, but I definitely cannot pick you up right now because my hands are yucky. 
and I do not want you um, being dirty. Let's see. So this is not as impressive as I thought it was going to be, um, but it'll get there. I'm kind of bummed. I honestly thought it was going to look prettier. Does that happen to you where you're like picturing something in your head and it comes out completely different? Wow. Because that's me right now. Okay. So that's it. So now to go water it and then show you guys some clips.